daughter, to you. Make you day careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. My original. You should know where to go. The SOM. There are all over the country and the major threats to human life. Despite being dangerous, many in our society, knowingly or unknowingly, still patronize these bad products. How bad are substandard products? Why do many deal on these life-endangering products? We have answers to these questions and more on this week's episode of Standard and You, but that will be after this message. Don't touch, don't touch. It's fake. Don't touch, don't touch. It's bad. Don't touch, don't touch. It hurts. Don't touch, don't touch. These are substandard products. They are dangerous to human lives and have negative effects on the nation's economy. We work round the clock in search of these products and wherever we find them, we destroy them. We are committed to the war against substandard and fake products. We are the Standards Organization of Nigeria. Join us on Standard and You your guide to product quality and safety. The program you're watching is Standard and You, your guide to product quality and safety. It is a global problem that countries over the world have had to contend with, exploring measures to check its prevalence. For developed economies in Europe and America, stringent measures are in place to check the distribution of fake and substandard products. It's a different story in most developing countries, like Nigeria, where local authorities are grappling with the disturbing volume of fake and substandard products. The battle, or better still, war against fake and substandard goods has been on for quite some time in the country, with negative impact on the economy, society, and individuals. Our satellite for solution to this lingering problem took our crew to the streets. Guess what? What we found out from this investigation will amaze you. Please take a look. It's the question of enforcement. The laws are there, the institutions are there, and the various you know, institutions that are regulatory bodies, they need to enforce these laws to the letter. If you have the laws and you don't enforce the laws, it amounts to nothing. The issue of uh, the government, you know, not uh, quietly uh, trying to checkmate some of these things at the border entrance and uh, maybe probably outside the border entrance, that has been an issue. So once those things are being rectified by the government, I don't think some of those fake products or anything can come into the well, Nigerian borders like that. It is for us to let those that are selling the fake products be aware that we customers are also aware. We know how to differentiate uh, fake products from original products. So one, they know that all, most the customers are aware. I think they will stop that. So it's more of awareness and confronting those that are selling the fake products. If we see any fake products, we have to report them to the law enforcement agency to go to come and get them. If many people can stop buying it, they will not continue doing it. Come here to empower the SON so let them do their work so that it will not affect we, the consumers. Electronics, building materials, substandard things, governments should still checkmate them. They should come out like what they used to do in the olden days, that they check on this product openly. They go to the marketplace. They know they are hidden places. Some school of thoughts also believe that a change of attitude by the consumer is critical and a very important tool to tackling the menace that is fast becoming an economic monster, threatening the survival of the nation's industrial sector. Changing of our attitude, we just have to be trustworthy and to be uh, our, our brother's keeper, just to be good in all ramifications and have a sincere mind in whatever we are doing. Many people are after money, 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 money. They want to make money at the expense of, of human life. So until every Nigeria realize that this country is our own country, we don't have any other country than this Nigeria. Nigeria first. To stop the substandard uh, drug or uh, fake, uh, it's very easy. They should be prosecuted. 
Wow. If anybody is found and arrested, should be prosecuted and face the court of law. That is it. So they should not have mercy on them because they are affecting the people in the society. Let's say, for instance, love drugs or substandard drugs or substandard anything. So we, I may not know. The, maybe the consumer will not know. We just go and buy it and then you start like consuming it. Or if any product, let's say, what, like this Sanders now is, uh, is fake product, how will I know? My own is just to buy and then start going about it. So the people in that section, that department, should be looked into very, very well and should be empowered and be monitored, not empowered alone, to be monitored so that we consumers should not be in the deluge of what is going on in the society. They may even go to the end of saying, look, when you find a fake product in your shop, we may destroy your shop. So landlords that want to give out jobs to source owners, we ensure that the, the, the attendant do not sell fake product because if it will affect the shop by destroying the shop for selling fake product, they, they will not know that they need to really be careful. Government should try as much as possible and give them data. Once you know, they know that they are going to be jailed for a year in which they cannot pay back. I am telling you, it will put a stop to it. Jail time. Greed is the only driving force behind the importation of fake and substandard products. And those behind this illegal business always place self above country. So a lot of people I know want to make profit like all of us. Some of them, by accident, they buy products. Some of them deliberately will. They don't care. As long as they make money, that's fine. Their life, the money is life for them, and that's it. They will collect the money, and they don't care if their person is dead tomorrow. So my job, because I have a lot of engineers, a lot of professionals, is to help you understand why is it that this product is not good. Now you know this product is not good. You don't have to plug it and it shock you, then you realize this is a bad thing. Or you don't have to put the furniture, two weeks later the person fall in that chair and break his leg. And then you say, God punish the person who made this chair. I want us to cooperate. You people know the ones that are really bad people. And you people know there are some good people out there they just need to be educated to do their business better. The good news is that government through the SON is determined to protect consumers and genuine manufacturers and will continue to expand its quality infrastructure to ensure that only goods of acceptable standard find their ways into Nigerian markets. Look, now look behind me. All this one now, why? Where we see from them, you know, see as they plenty there. I or nine they put inside. Maybe some people have saying that uh, they are money for time and now they take build house. You can't use this kind of wire. I can't burn and down. What do you get again? So when we see people with this kind of email that they tell us to, we will go catch them. Choose live and leave. Buy original. Be original. S O N. Welcome to Standard and You, your guide to product quality and safety. Despite efforts by the Standards Organization of Nigeria to rid our market of substandard and fake products, Nigerians still contend with the disturbing volume of these bad products in the country. Like other stakeholders, the SON is worried about the ugly development and is doubling efforts to check the distribution of bad products in Nigeria. How well is the SON positioned to tackling this menace? Is the agency doing enough in this regard? Are there positive outcomes from these measures? I have with me in the studio SON's Director of Inspectorate and Compliance, Mr. Suleiman Issa, to provide answers to these questions and more. Mr. Issa, you are welcome to the studio. How would you define the substandard product? Um, thank you. A substandard product is a product that does not meet the quality requirements of the standard for that particular product. Every product has a standard. Uh, in Nigeria, we have uh, the NIS, that is the Nigerian Industrial Standards, and we also have other standards like the uh, ISO standard, International Organization of Standardization, which is, uh, which is an international standard. We also have ASO, uh, African Organization for Standardization, uh, that's an African uh, 
uh, standard. We also have ECOWAS standard. All these are standards that guide uh, quality of products. That's the uh, requirement of those products. And for services too, there are standards for services. We have management system standards, you know, which uh, give us the uh, service level agreement for services and other aspects. Okay. Yes. I want to ask you a troubling question. Why do you think people patronize substandard products? Uh, yes. Um, there are so many reasons. Uh, we, there could be ignorance. Uh, but generally, I think people look for cheap products. And invariably, a lot of ch uh, cheap products are also substandard products. Mm. But you see, it's not a wise, they say, penny wise, pound foolish. Mm. So it's a situation where you buy a cheap product today, uh, by the next day it's spoiled and you have to buy again. And you keep buying. So at the long run, they think or they thought it's, uh, it's cheap. It's actually more expensive. So it's better you buy a uh, product that meets quality requirements and then you keep using it for a very long time. You get satisfaction for the service. So um, apart from that... Uh, you know, the, sometimes these products are presented as if they are genuine products, yeah. but they are not genuine. True. So in that respect, I would advise buyers to always buy from genuine sources, from reputable outlets. And they should also ask a lot of questions. If you go out to buy products, you should have, a, have an idea, an idea of what the, uh, the features of that product. And you should also ask questions. You should collect receipts just in case the product does not serve, uh, it doesn't serve you, you can report to some. What about the economy factor and pricing? We actually had to talk to people on the streets and aside ignorance, they had mm. to say that. What's your reaction to that? These actions actually affect the economy. It's a kind of a sabotage to the economy. And that is why some try as much as possible to make sure these substandard products do not come in. Uh, and then we also try to uh, sensitize buyers to, to make sure that they patronize products that meet quality. I want to ask you this. What are the measures put in place to check the importation of these um, substandard Yes, products? the first important measure against import of substandard products is the SONCAP. That is the, the SON Conformity Assessment Program. Uh, it's an offshore uh, uh, program. To, to test the product before import. So that's the first step. And when the product comes in, SON uh, actually is supposed to participate at the point of examination of that product to confirm that the SONCAP certificate is actually for that product. Mm. So if these products could be stopped at the point of entry, then they will not find themselves into the market. So, uh, as you are aware, Son was out of the port for uh, a long period, about 11 years. Now we are back, and then uh, all uh, preparations are being put in place, and we've started uh, the gradual uh, you know, integration into the activities in the port. We are not fully there yet, uh, but we are working with the relevant government agencies, especially the Nigeria Customs Service, to participate in the... Uh, customs uh, examination of these products. But not all products that come into Nigeria come through the normal route, the mm. official route. Mm. We're also aware that a lot of these products come from unofficial routes, mm. which it's difficult to control. So that is a very, a very big challenge. So in respect of that, we go out uh, on surveillance yeah, to warehouses, yes. to locations, based on either information, most times intelligence information. Any Nigerian who has information on uh, presence of substandard products anywhere can please report to some for action. So what happens next? What are, what are the measures, you know? Yeah, so if you look at our activities, if you are following some activities, you will see that management have considered all aspects of SON to be able to improve uh, the quality of products in Nigeria. Mm. Uh, look at standards. SON has been adopting more and more standards, uh, recent standards, to provide uh, requirements for products. Uh, we've had a lot of uh, automation in SON. And just last week, uh, there was an award by NIDA, our National 
uh, Information Technology Development Agency digital award that has been given to Son mm. for ease of doing business. Oh, wow. Son came uh, number one wow. in Nigeria as mm -hmm. an agency that encourages ease of doing business. So then, if you look at uh, MSMEs, Son has been supporting mm. these small uh, entrepreneurs, mm. you know, to, to be able to, to come up because uh, th this is a sector, an important sector that actually will support the economy. There has been a lot of training that has been going on. Uh, recently, there has been management system training on conformity assessment that was done nationwide in Son. Uh, that will enable officers, you know, to be able to practice uh, all the aspects of conformity, that is inspection, testing, to be able to give services that meets international standards. We've also uh, undergone training on M&E, uh, monitoring and evaluation, that will enable some to properly uh, be able to know our level of performance. We'll be able to determine our KPIs, there are KPIs, there are targets, and the outcomes. So some, with this song will now know exactly how our performances are in all the departments of song, which will now enable improvement, you know. So that is an area that uh, is really very important. Are these measures yielding the expected positive results? Uh, yes. You know, I told you it's in every aspect. Mm. Son Right now, it is when we have put these measures in place, for example, mm -hmm. the KPIs, mm. and then we'll be able to now look at it. Once we practice for uh, a reasonable period of time, like a month or two, we'll see that. Then there is also the compliance. We are regularly on the fields, you know, uh, scouting for substandard products. Mm. We are also getting a lot of uh, arrests on uh, defaulters. On the, 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 there are people who specialize in uh, faking some documents, for example. Mm -hmm. Those people are always being taken to court. We have also, for example, our online marketplace, online. We've also discovered that they are selling uh, substandard products, and we're working on that. So many of these things are not seen right now because someone wants to follow the due process. So we've been going to court on that. We go to court for court orders. So all the products that w we have seized are undergoing uh, and we've confirmed as substandard. We are going for court order on them. Mm. We are right on that. And, uh, you know, now we also do sensitization nationwide. Mm. We have uh, nine, nine regional offices, mm -hmm. nine departments, which is an improvement over the previous one operations department nationwide. Mm. All these nine departments are on their own, you know, uh, having uh, meeting our clients and stakeholders and sensitizing them mm. on the need to be dealing on mm. uh, quality products. So all these measures, uh, we believe, will eventually uh, give us a positive result in terms of uh, curtailing incidences of substandard products. Okay. How can we, from the point of the regulator, check the distribution of substandard products? Um, uh, Son uh, has really focused very well mm. on, uh, on the markets. Uh, and we have, uh, for example, lists of all the markets in Nigeria. We know the, we have lists of uh, genuine distributors yeah. of different brands or products. And uh, so once we see any consignment, for example, of a particular brand mm. in a place where it's not supposed to be, mm. uh, you know, we do conduct tests, we do a uh, market survey, uh, we check those products, we buy, and we test. And where they, they fail, you know, those products, actions are taken on those products. Uh, we, we could even uh, prosecute in such cases, and of course we do. And that was how recently we came across uh, a Nokia phone that okay. is not the genuine Nokia. Yeah. Oh. And that case is still ongoing mm. because after seizing the first set, mm. we still discovered uh, that those products are still in the market. Promises by the sellers that there's that particular uh, marketplace, yeah. 
you know, this uh, activity is still going on. We also found uh, a very popular Nigerian product. It's um, a refrigeration product. Yeah. Uh, you know, they have uh, ACs, fridge and freezers, and washing machine. Mm. Is the number one product in Nigeria which oh. everybody wants to buy. Mm. But we discovered that the fake version is being sold oh. online. And we have taken the matter very seriously. Investigations are ongoing. Uh, and uh, we, that could even go to court. Okay. Yes. Uh, management has been advised, and I believe that uh, the case will go to court. So we do monitor uh, sales outlet. We do monitor distribution outlet. But you'll agree with me that there are hundreds of thousands of distribution outlets. Mm -hmm. So it's not really uh, practicable for some to be everywhere. And that's why we're encouraging uh, uh, Good Samaritans to always report uh, cases of substandard products wherever they see them. We are there on our website. We have uh, 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 call uh, toll-free uh, numbers oh, and all that. And they will have state offices nationwide where uh, individuals can report. Okay, so with yes. all of this, would you say that the SON is doing enough? to clean our markets? It's really difficult to say that, yes, we've done enough. But Sun is always on its feet. They, led by the Director General, Alan Farouk Salim, uh, you know, looking for ways to always improve our service. And uh, just, just last week, the DG was in Kano to launch uh, calibration services in Kano, and at the first instance, it was offered free to manufacturers. All these things are being done to encourage okay. uh, manufacturers. And lastly, I would like to say that with the harsh economy, you know, each time the economy becomes more difficult, it, it, it reflects, and our son also find it more difficult to discharge our, our activities. Because the stakeholders always, especially those uh, who are looking for cheaper ways to do things. They, they look at how to smuggle products. They look at how to probably reduce the cost of their products by other means. And that other means is by reducing the quality of their product. So these are some of the areas that make things extremely difficult for us. But each time they change any tactics, we also do see it mm, yeah. and we try to also strategize to counter, you know, what, what they are doing. So it's really, that's a very difficult question. But like I said, our KPIs mm. will now tell us how far we've been mm -hmm. able, you know, to achieve. The, the DG has directed for implementation of the M&E, mm. and before the net management retreat, that, you know, these are the things that will be looked by, by management to be able to assess uh, our level of performance. Okay, yes. so let's talk about the volume of the seizure. Yeah. It is declining. Do you say bad products are decreasing? Nigerians are becoming more and more informed. So each time we come across substandard products, even after testing and confirming that it is substandard, we do not come out publicly to announce it until or take further action like destruction yeah. until when we meet all the legal requirements, and that is the court order for that. And you are aware that it's not very easy. It takes time. And some of these uh, processes, in fact, take longer than necessary. And that's why it will appear as if uh, the seizure is declining, mm -hmm. but it's really not declining. Uh, but we hope that all those activities we put in place, like sensitization, you know, improvement of our system. I think it was this week. Uh, Son has deployed the e-demand node and uh, e-receipts which we believe will improve the system. Mm. We've had a lot of cases of faking of our receipts. So continuously, SON is improving the, the processes. Lastly, how can we encourage self-regulation? Yes, we've been trying to do that. We, we do that through the market associations, okay. through manufacturers. Example of manufacturers is the CAMAN, the Cable Manufacturers yes. Association. Okay. Where they are working very closely with us. And they are regulating themselves, for example. Mm -hmm. Even in the markets, all the markets uh, nationwide, uh, the different state uh, offices, the, the regional departments are working with all these associations to encourage them to regulate themselves. 
So we hope to see more positive results in yeah. that aspect. We hope so too. Yes. We hope so yes. too. Okay, so we'd like to thank you for providing insights into yes. your activities. But be rest assured of our continued support in this regard. Our country right now is threatened by substandard goods resulting into industries not surviving in this country. But we cannot continue to have individuals physically destroying our economy. That's economic sabotage and we are not going to tolerate that. Join us on Standard and You, your guide to product quality and safety. That's our program this week. Join us again for another package next week. It's bye for now. Why you dey buy it? Yeah, take product to yeah. you. Make you dey careful, no go damage your life. You've got one life to live. My original.